Basic probability. Okay, so the scenario is we have a box with some marbles in it. We have five blue, three orange, one gray, two red. So the first thing you want to do when we're talking about basic probability is find the total. You have to find the total first. So count them up, and you should get 11. Remember that number. Okay, so now that we have the total, it's important to know that for probability, the total is always on the bottom or in the denominator spot. I abbreviated it. <laughs> So throw the 11 on the bottom, and let's say we're trying to find the probability of reaching your hand in there and picking out a red marble. So notice how we have two red in the box, so two would just go on the top. It would be however many are red over the total on the bottom. If we wanted to change the color, and let's say, let's talk about orange. So notice how the total is still on the bottom, still 11, hasn't changed, just brought it over, but notice how there are three orange in the box. So I just throw that number up here for orange. So the probability of reaching your hand in there and picking an orange marble is a three out of 11 chance. That's how you would say that. Okay, now notice how it isn't a fraction, so if it ever can be simplified, it should be. But 11's kind of hard to simplify. So it's a prime number, not very easy to do. Now, if we're talking about odds in favor, notice how the box didn't change. We still have the total, and we are going to need it, but it's not necessarily going to be on the bottom. Okay, so let's just say we're trying to find the odds in favor of red. Okay, it would be set up like however many are red on the top because it's in favor, and then however many are not red on the bottom. Okay, so we know that there's going to be two red, and then you can either use the total to subtract out the two that are red, so 11 minus 2 gives you 9 left that are not red. Or if you want to do it the long way, you can just count up 1 plus 3 plus 5, and it's still going to give you the same answer of 9. Okay, so when it's odds in favor, the color we're talking about, red in this case, is going to be on the top, and then however many are not red on the bottom. So in this case, it's a 2 to 9 odds in favor of picking a red. Now, if we wanted to change this and do odds against odds against red, let's say, all you would do is you would flip these so that not red is on the top and that red is on the bottom. So I know that there are two red in the box, and using that total 11, 11 minus the two that are red means that nine are not red. So the odds against reaching your hand in there and picking a red are nine to two. Now, just to be clear, if you wanted to do odds against picking a blue, just to switch the color up, blue would be on the bottom, and however many are not blue are on the top. Okay, so we know that there's going to be five blue in the box. So using 11, 11 total minus the five that are blue is going to be six that are not blue. If we wanted to change this to in favor, all you would do is switch. Take a couple seconds, pause the video, and you try these three on your own. Find the probability of picking a gray, probability of picking a blue, and probability of picking an orange. And then when you're ready, just hit play again and the answers will be up on the screen. Okay, and here are your answers. There's only one gray in there, 11 total for uh, the first one, and then there's five blue over 11 total, three orange f over 11 total. Notice how 11 is always on the bottom, and that's how it is with probability. It's always going to be that total number on the bottom to start with. Okay, now take a minute and try to find the odds in favor of picking a gray, picking a red, and picking a blue. Go ahead, try it, pause it, and then unpause it for answers. Okay, I forgot that we did a couple of these for the example, but um, for 11, the odds of picking a gray are 1 to 10. 1 is gray, that means that 10 are not gray. Um, for red, 
two are red, that means that nine are not red, so you're just going to use that 11 minus the two that are red. You're left with nine that are not red. And then for blue, there's five that's blue on the top, and then six that are not blue on the bottom. Okay, and now try these two. You're going to try to find the odds against picking a red and the odds against picking an orange. Okay, and the answers are, it should be an 8 to 3 odds against picking an orange because notice that how there are 3 that are orange, which means that there's 8 that are not orange. And then for red, there's 2 that are red, so on the top, 9 that are not red. When it's odds against, you want to put that not number on the top. So just to sum up, probability, whatever color you're talking about, let's just say purple. I wish that was a color optional in here, but it's not. If we're trying to find the probability of purple, purple goes on the top, and then the total always goes on the bottom for probability. If we were talking about odds in favor of purple, purple will go on the top, not purple on the bottom, and then odds against that not number on the top, because it's odds against purple, so not not purple on the top, and then purple on the bottom. Alright, thank you for watching my video, and I hope this helps.